Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Ninja Forms Zapier add-on to capture form results. So specifically, what we're going to be doing here is using the Zapier Ninja Forms add-on to send the results of a form to a Google Sheet. The form is going to be a simple one question survey, which is what is your favorite Star Wars movie? Uh, and we're going to capture that into a Google Sheet. I'm choosing the Zapier add-on because I think that it is the most versatile. So for $49 a year for a single site, you can use Zapier to connect to a whole bunch of other services. And uh, some of those services can even be used in conjunction with or in lieu of other Ninja Forms add-ons. So I'm paying for a, a pro version of Zapier and with the Ninja Forms Zapier add-on, I can use that add-on to connect to things like ConvertKit or FreshBooks or other things that uh, you would otherwise need a separate Ninja Forms add-on for. Now that said, uh, one benefit of using the built-in Ninja Forms add-ons is that you don't have to worry about needing Zapier or anything else. It might end up being cheaper. Or if you're using the free version of Zapier, you don't have to worry about the uh, Zapier connection taking up one of your limited zaps. So I think for the free account, you can have up to like 20 zaps or something like that. Um, so there are, there are benefits. There are pros and cons to using the Zapier add-on. I just use Zapier for a lot of things, and I think that it's absolutely fantastic. So let's go to my WordPress site. I have a simple site here using 2020. So you can see I already have the Ninja Forms plugin and the Zapier add-ons for Ninja Forms installed. So we'll go to Ninja Forms. We will create a new form. I'm going to start with a blank form, even though they do have lots of great templates to start from, since this is a simple form. So we are going to have a radio list. We want the user to be able to select one and only one option, and that is going to be their favorite Star Wars movie. We'll make it required, and then we will list all of the movies. All right, and with all of our movies added, we'll click Done and then publish. And once the form is published, we will go to emails and actions. And what we want to do here is set up a Zapier action. So we'll keep the success message and the store submission. That way, when the form is submitted, it'll be stored in WordPress as well as sent to Zapier. We can turn off the admin email. We don't need an email every time someone fills out the survey. And then we'll click the blue plus button. All of the actions that we have installed will show up at the top. Any available to us will be grayed out below that. So we'll choose Zapier. And then here inside Zapier, we will need a webhook. So now we'll go out to Zapier. I'm already logged in here. I'll click make a new zap. The app that we want to choose is Ninja Forms. So we'll choose that. The trigger we want is new form submission. And then we'll click continue. Then Zapier will give us a webhook. So we'll copy that. We'll go back to WordPress to Ninja Forms and we'll paste in our webhook and we'll click done. Then we'll click publish and get out of Ninja Forms. Now there's one more thing that we need to do because Zapier is going to want test data. So we'll need to actually fill out the form at least once to get some test data. So we're going to add this form to a page. I have already created a page called Star Wars Survey. And you could see that the page is using the block editor. Ninja Forms has a block. So we'll choose the Ninja Forms block and then we'll select the Star Wars Survey form. We'll click Update. And then we'll go out to the page. And we will choose a movie. Now I like most Star Wars movies, but just to get some varied data here after doing some testing, I will choose a new hope. I'll click submit. Now if we go out to Zapier, again, we'll click continue and we will test the trigger. Two entries are pulled in here. Request A and request B. So you'll notice something interesting about the data here. We are not only getting the date, the form title, the sequence number, which is basically the ID number, 
and then the question and answer, we're also getting all of the options. So if you want to do something with that data, like include it all and then see kind of like plot the answers for each entry, if you want to have each possible entry logged, you can do that. I'm just logging the answers here though. So we'll click continue and we'll choose Google Sheets. Uh, this is a recent app I chose, but if you're not seeing it, you can search Sheets and it should be the first one to come up. And then we will create a spreadsheet row. So I'll click continue. I need to choose the Google Sheets account I want to use. I've already connected it to Zapier. We'll click continue. And then we need to choose the location of the Google Sheet, the spreadsheet that we want to use. I created one called Star Wars Results, and then the worksheet, which is just going to be Sheet 1. Once we select the spreadsheet and then the, the sheet that we want to use inside that spreadsheet, it will grab all of the headings that we created. So if I go to Google Drive, we'll see the date, the answer, and I just included IP address here, but we really don't need to do that. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, ID for that's the sequence number, the date. And then instead of calling this answer, I'm going to call it favorite movie. So I'll save this and then I'll go back to Zapier and then I will refresh the fields. And now the new ones are pulled in. So I'll choose sequence number for ID, date for the date field, and then for favorite movie, I'm going to show all options and I'm going to grab favorite Star Wars movie and then episode four, A New Hope is what will show up here. So I'll click continue and now I can test. So I'll send a test and we'll see if it worked. We'll go back to Google Sheets. Great ID. We'll expand this a little bit and we'll expand this a little bit. So perfect. This information was sent properly. Let's go back to Zapier. We'll click done editing and then we'll turn on the zap. I do want to point out before we go back to our WordPress site that this has the instant badge, which means that this will automatically run every time the form is filled out. And uh, we forgot to give it a name here. So let's go ahead and do that too go back. So let's go back to our WordPress site and we will pick another answer. I also partial to the force awakens. So I'll choose that. I'll click submit. And so our zap should automatically run. So if we go to our Google sheet, we see a brand new entry here. Fantastic. Now, just as a reminder, Zapier is a paid add on for Ninja forms where you can get a single site for $49 a year. However, at the time of this recording, Ninja Forms is also offering 50% off all of their membership plans, which is a great deal. You can get the professional plan for $99, which includes the Zapier add-on and a whole bunch of other stuff on 20 sites. So it's really a fantastic deal. Use the link in the description below. That is an affiliate link, so I may get a commission if you purchase through that link but that doesn't affect the price that you pay. So definitely check out their membership plans. They are really great. So that's it for this video. In it, you learned how to send Ninja Forms survey results to Google Sheets using Zapier. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up down below, subscribe to this channel for more great content, and let me know in the comments what do you see yourself using Ninja Forms and Zapier for? Let me know and thanks so much for watching.